I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on transformations. We will try to understand how do we perform combined transformations for a given figure. The question is, draw triangle PQR at P22, Q is 24 and R is 35 for the following transformations. So the transformation here is A denotes reflection in x equals to 5. Now, this is a convenient way of describing a transformation. The symbol A, which I've mentioned here, will denote reflection in x equals to 5. B denotes translation to 1. That means 2 units to the right, 1 unit up. C denotes rotation of 180 degrees with center at 3, 2. Now, what do we need to do here? We need to do two operations. Find image of PQR for, this is your first transformation, a combination of B and A on PQR. So when you are given like this, you have to for, perform the inside operation, which is A first. A for us is reflection on X equals to 5. Once you do that, then you have to perform the operation B, which is translation to 2, 1. Is that clear to you? All right. Now, second transformation which you have to show here is that first you do the reflection on x equals to 5, then you do translation, and then you do rotation with the center at 3, 2, and rotation by angle of 180 degrees. That's the question for you. You can pause the video now, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So, let's begin by plotting the triangle first, PQR. Point P is given to us as 2, 2, so which is this point. Then Q is 2, 4, 2 and 1, that becomes 2, 4. And R is 3, 5. R is 3, 5. So that is the triangle we are talking about. Right? So this is the triangle. What we need to do, first step is to reflect this triangle on the line x equals to 5. So, so this is 2, 3, 4, and 1, 5. So that is the line on which we have to reflect this. So let's call this, uh, let's name them. So we have P, Q, and R. Now we'll perform reflection. So reflection, each point will be same distance away on the other side of this vertical line. So R will be at this place, Q will be 3 units away from here, and then P will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, correct? So that becomes the reflection of PQR, right? So we get the points, which are P dash, Q dash and R dash. Okay. So we have done the first portion, which is APQR, right? So that represents APQR, right? So we, we can call this as our, let's say this is our triangle one. Let's call this as our triangle one. This is our triangle two. So we know now that triangle two is basically a result of operation of A on the triangle 1, right? So that is the convention which can be used to describe. Now, we have to perform the operation B on the reflection and B is, denotes the translation to 2, 1. So let's do the translation. 2, 1, 2, x. So each point will move 2 units. So 1, 2, and then 1 unit up. So one unit up, so you get P dash here. As far as Q dash is concerned, it goes to two and one. So we get Q here, right? So uh, one unit, right? So that is the place where position for Q, right? So we'll call this Q dash and P dash, right? R moving two units to the right and then one up. So it, that is R for us. So what we get here is a triangle here. Okay, so this is our triangle 
after so this is our triangle number three so we can say that the triangle number three is obtained by performing the operation B on A on our triangle 1, correct? PQR. So that is how we could do the first one. Is that clear to you? Now, the second operation is to perform the rotation by 180 degrees with the center at 3, 2. Now, so it will actually move out of the scale. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3 and 2. So with this center, we have to perform a, a rotation by 180 degrees. Now, so basically, it goes like on the same. I will actually change this to 3, 2 because uh, we don't have space here, right? Uh, so what we will do here is that we will perform this rotation about the point. Let us say we'll do it at 5, 2 instead, right? So we'll do at 5, 2 and see our result, right? So we'll do it. We're changing this. We'll make it from 5 to 2, right? So so that we have, we have it within the scale, right? And see what the result will be. So we'll rotate about this point which is 5, 2 instead of 3, 2. Idea is it is going to quadrant 2, which is we don't have much space there. But I hope you'll understand the, the concept. Uh, even with 5, 2, uh, yeah, we, we could barely make it. So now look at it. By 180 degrees. So when you have to rotate by 180 degrees, so if you look at it, to reach P triple dash, let's call this as, uh, okay, P double dash. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, right? So when you do reflection, it comes on this other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So that becomes the point P triple dash. Right, so that becomes the point P triple dash. Now, Q is five units on this side, one, two, three up, right? So, so five units from here and three down. So one, two, and three. So there will be our point Q, right? As far as R is concerned, you can count one, two, three, four up, one, two, three up. 4 on either side. Sir. So we'll come 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4 on this side. So it'd be kind of here, right? So we get our final image, which will be kind of like this. So we rotate it instead of 3, 2, about the center 5, 2, and we nearly got it within our page, right? That's the whole idea. So as you can see, they are diagonally placed, right? So diagonally 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not to the scale. Anyway, it should be, the fourth will be kind of here, right? So 3, 4. So that is how it is going to be. So I hope you understand and appreciate how this could be done. So, so the idea here is to understand the convention. We can perform one operation after the other and that is what we mean by saying combined transformations. Labeling, we could do like this. Now, this is the final image. P, then we had, uh, sorry, this is P, Q, and R, right? So that becomes your final image. So we have the operation C on BA on our triangle one, which we are calling PQR also, which is triangle 1. We are saying triangle 1 is the triangle PQR. Correct? And that is the final result after performing this operation. Right. So, so we have two parts of this question and that is how we are going to do it. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. You can actually perform the same with, with center at 3, 2, right? which will be uh, right here. So it will be further on this side. 
right? So that is how you're going to get the result. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.